When you are just starting out using video in your business, when you're starting to think, you know what, I think I wanted to go on YouTube or I want to create a video ad for my business, you immediately go to, but how do I edit? What camera do I need? And you have all of this influx of questions that you don't know the answer to. Then you immediately associate a dollar amount which with each of these things that you were just thinking like, oh my God, I need this thing and this thing and that thing and this thing and that costs this much and this costs that much. But I'm here to tell you that you can accomplish the videos of your dreams, the videos you want, and especially the videos to get you started with free tools that you already have at your disposal. Now. I'm a big fan of Macs and all things Apple, although I'm a little pissed off at my computer right now because it's not working totally correctly, but, but that's irrelevant. So with that being said that I'm a big Apple fan, I love me some iMovie and it comes free on Macs. So if you have a Mac and you're just getting started on YouTube or in video and you're wondering how you can edit in the best and most efficient way possible, iMovie is your best bet. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to use it. Howdy there, and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. I am Jessica, your resident YouTube and video marketing strategist, here to help you, the entrepreneur, who's ready to like play big time and stop playing small, get your stuff figured out when it comes to using video and YouTube in your business. So make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't done that already because the stuff that I bring you three times a week is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Again, iMovie is one of my favorite tools in the world and it is what I use to edit my videos for a very long time. It worked really well and it's a really great program to learn on so that you can build your skills and go from there and so that you can get started without having analysis paralysis of all the different things that you need. So let's just head on over and I'm gonna show you how to work iMovie because there ain't no reason for me to sit here and talk your ear off when all you wanna know is how to work this program. Am I right? I know. When you hop into iMovie, this will be the screen you, you should see first. And if you don't see that, it's okay. I'll show you how to get back here. But essentially, this is where all of your old quote unquote movies go. And anytime you edit a movie or anytime you create one, it will go here as an iMovie library file. Then you can totally delete these or whatever out of here once you're done. But First and foremost, you want to go to create new to create a new movie. Now you can create a new trailer if you want to, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm totally just gonna show you the movie part. So just create new and movie. Then it will ask you to import media. So I'm just gonna grab some video files from my files here. Okay, so I'm gonna import this here. And when you import the media, you can drag it over or I could have went to file and import media. Um, or I could have just dragged it over just like I did. But basically, once you're done, you kind of drag everything you might possibly need into this work panel here. Now, just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and drag this over as well, which is my intro to YouTube. So I already actually have it in this video, but I'm gonna drag it over just for the purposes of this tutorial. So just to give you a tour around iMovie, now that we have a project started and an actual like footage here, up here at the top you can do preferences is pretty well the only thing you'll probably ever need in this section of iMovie. All of this I leave on the default settings, but you can totally change things up. If you are making something that's maybe a stop motion animation and you want every photo to only show up for half a second, you could change that and this is how you do that. Then you can go to file and here's all of the things you can do here. You can do a new movie, um, a new trailer, which you actually have to you know, have the panel ready to do a new movie and new trailer, which is why it's grayed out new event, import media, open library, which is basically what I just showed you at the beginning, that library of 
movies, quote unquote, that you've created. And you have a share folder here and then some other grayed out options. And I'll show you a couple of these as we go along. Then the edit menu, mark, modify, view, window menu. Those are all pretty standard things and make it into some more advanced iMovie tutorials that we won't get into here, but I just wanted to show you that those are up there. Okay, so to get started editing in iMovie, all you do is grab your first clip and drag it down here. Now, as you can see, like everything is like, I cannot tell where, you know, where one piece starts and one, one piece stops. So what you can do is you can drag this little thing over to create a bigger, like longer thing here so you could see. So since I know if, since I know that my um, thing, what it, what is that called? Intro is here and I wanted to cut it out. I could totally, you know, mark it by saying, okay, it's going to start right there and it's going to end here. And I know that because if you'll look at the little wave files here, I have a little bit of a break here before it goes into that. And then I have another little break before I start talking again. So I would know that I can cut that little piece out. But this, I prefer to spread my clip way out so I can see all of the wave files. And if I flub up on words or something, I can kind of see where that happened as well as hear it and see it up here and cut it out that way. So as you're doing this, the thing up here, this panel here is showing exactly where your cursor is at. So you can just drag your cursor across go backwards and it will show everything that you're doing here. Now let's do a simple cut in iMovie because that is the main thing a lot of you will want to do. Um, so again, let's say I'm going to cut this entire piece out here where my intro is. I will put my cursor where I want it and you can click if you want to, um, or you can just like leave your mouse there. Either way is fine. And you can hit command B on a Mac. Now, if you didn't, if you're not using a Mac or you don't want to use a command, you want to do something else, you'll drag your thing over and you'll click and you'll right click and then you'll hit split clip. And then this little clip right here in the middle is what I want to delete. So let's make sure it's highlighted yellow and you can just hit the delete button. And now it's gone. It's just completely gone out of that. So you'll make all your edits you want to in that way. You can also add titles and transitions. So to do a title, you can go to your titles panel here. And if you want to, let's say, add a title here, you'll find the one you want and you'll just drag it right over top of where you want to put it. Then you can click on it and go up in this panel and edit. So there's that. You can also, some of the titles don't allow you to change the position of where the text is because it's just built into iMovie. If you do want to do something a little different, you absolutely can um, by following a tutorial I've done on my site before, on my YouTube channel before, on how to add text to iMovie without having to use these standard titles. But you have a lot to choose from here, so you can absolutely drag these wherever you want to. So for instance, if at the very end of this I want to have a title with scrolling credits, I just do this and then I click in there and I can start editing everything. So I could say credits and I could change each name. And now when it rolls, it will roll with what I typed in there. So you can absolutely change whatever you want. You can highlight clips and hit delete to delete them. You can increase or decrease this so that you can see how much of the panel you'll will show up and how much won't um, and how much you'll have to kind of scroll. It's almost like zooming in on the clip. So from there, what I would suggest that we play with next is the audio panel here. So this will allow you to bring in audio clips. So if you wanted to bring in maybe a um, an alarm sound, you can absolutely drag that wherever you want it. It will go under the clip. And then whenever I hit play, you won't be able to hear, the, hear this, but whenever I hit play over top of my sound, will be an alarm sound. If I want to delete that, I just click on it and delete it. Backgrounds. So here again is some pretty templated versions here, but let's say at the beginning I wanted to put a background that said something. I would add a background and then I would go here and add a title on top of the background 
and change it to whatever I wanted it to say. And now in the beginning of my video, it will have that title and then transition. So now transitions can be used in between any clips. So anywhere you see this little doodad here in between clips, you can use a transition. So let's say we want to use this fade to white. I'm just going to drag it and put it right in between that. So now if I hit play, it fades to white before it, you see my clip again. Now, if you ever wanted to do a voiceover, what you'll do is you'll click where you want to start the voiceover and here's your little voiceover command. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to start a voiceover. I'm going to say abracadabra Kalamazoo. So I'll click this little button. It will give me a countdown. Once I hit the red button, it will give me a countdown from three to one. And then it will automatically start right where I have my cursor placed. And I can see three, two, one, abracadabra Kalamazoo. So wherever I put that, it's going to go over top of the already existing audio. Now, if you are wanting to replace audio that's already there, you'll have to decrease the volume of this little clip of audio here, but that's definitely doable for you. So you can absolutely use voiceover. Now, all of these things up here are things that I would just encourage you to play with because these are color corrections and cropping and vibration, stabilization and sound and all of that. You can absolutely just play with those. But when you are done, when you're ready to export, you just go to file and share, and then you are given all of these options in where you can share them. So you can share to a file on your own computer. You can share straight to YouTube. You can share straight to Facebook, straight to a video or I'm sorry, straight to Vimeo, straight to an image or a file. So you can do all of these options and share in whatever capacity you want to. Now, let's say you're trying to find a screenshot inside of your video to use as your thumbnail. And let's say I want to use this one because that is attractive. So what you'll do is you'll place your cursor there and then you can actually either go right here, which is the equivalent of the share button, or you can go to the share and you can go here and I can click image and now it will export that image wherever I want to put it. Or I could have went to file and share and went to image. And that's really all guys. That's really it in a basic iMovie edit and you're you're pretty well done. Again, I would encourage you to play with all of your settings up here just when you have a few minutes to sit down and play with the color and the crop and all of that. But everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so hopefully you are totally equipped to click on the iMovie icon in your desktop and start using it immediately. Start editing videos, start putting videos out into the world so that your brand can be better and that people know, like, and trust you way quicker. So you have everything you need now. You have a phone or some kind of camera and you have this free program called iMovie that you now know how to use. So hope it was useful. Hit me with a thumbs up if it was and make sure to hit subscribe because you don't want to miss anything else that I'm bringing at you. Bye y'all.